Hey, welcome to Butcher Bay Rejects. I'm Mark. I'm Greg. What's up, nerds? Lots of things happening this week. Yeah, and this is our 80th episode. If that means anything, I don't know, but... Uh... <laughs> We like to think they, so. They we like to think so. They thought we'd cave after five, but no, we're still here, eighty episodes later, churning it out. So you we're like a bad rash. You can't get rid of us. You, we watch it so you don't have to. So in this uh, episode, we're gonna cover Jurassic World Dominion, followed by The Gray Man that just came out on Netflix last week. Mark did watch the offer. He did a, an about face on that one, so that's uh, we're gonna cover that. And of course. All the MCU and comic book information that's come out of Hall H and San Diego Comic Con 2022. Oh, All yeah. Right. Let's kick it off with a little JWD Jurassic World Dominion. I'm assuming you liked it. I thought it was good. Uh, I mean, it's tough, tough to do, figure out what more you can do with dinosaurs. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm all dinosaured out. Uh, that's yeah. why I'm calling this episode the, t- the T-Rex is loose again. You know, but, um, <laughs> but I mean, I do like the, you know, Sam Neill and Laura Dern. You know, I mean. Oh, yeah. No, the them. callback, to, the callback yeah. to the original Jurassic was great. Yeah, you seeing, know? seeing them back, I mean, I guess, uh, you know, made it made it watchable for me. But yeah. I didn't find anything. And, and like I- Ian Malcolm in, on the conspiracy uh, setup to bring down the corporation from behind the scenes was yeah. kind of interesting. You yeah. Know? Yeah. 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 No, exactly. Um, it, uh, yeah. No, it, I mean, you know, again, I, I've only really liked 1993's Jurassic Park. That's the only one I, I really loved, you know, so I, I watch all the others, but I, I can't say, uh, and I, you know, I was whole little confused by the whole Maisie lock. I mean, this whole, uh, did I miss a part in a movie, or did they just make that up for this movie? The whole DNA. I think they made mom? that up for this movie. Oh, okay. They, they, I... they did a lot of in depth of who this girl was. Okay. Um, obviously, she was the daughter of one of the original Jurassic Park people. Uh, I don't yeah. think it was Hammond. I think it was someone else. Uh, I think it was uh, what's his nuts in Jurassic Two. The um, Who's, there, were, there was one idiot in there. Anyway. Vince Vaughn? Um, Vince Vaughn? <laughs> <laughs> but, um, no, I think uh, that was, uh, she was introduced here, and it was like, okay, now, the ability to clone a human and so on. Okay, obviously, that has a lot of value. And you saw what this guy was trying to do. He was trying to take over the world in a sense of, okay, I'm going to create a hybrid Jurassic set of locusts that only react to what I say they do. Well, yeah, you know? to make everyone go, you know, come to him for the food, right? So it wouldn't exactly. touch. It wouldn't touch the biosyn crops, but you know, no, it would only it would only go after regular <laughs> natural born Indep- crops. Independent, yeah. <laughs> so, you know, there's. Uh, I think there was a lot more of a. I guess you could say sinister thing going on with this movie versus all the other Jurassic parks where it was just like, oops, they got out. Okay, now we got to get rid of them. You know, like yeah, that sort of thing. Well, this this had actually had like a, you know, almost like a like a like a James Bond aspect to it. You know yeah, what I mean? Well, yeah, the sinister thing because we had Campbell Scott, I guess, doing his best impression of Steve Jobs there. Um, so yeah, that, I, oh, that, that, or Bezos, Musk, whoever whoever he was <laughs> channeling there. Billi- so. Billionaire billionaire <laughs> asshole that thinks he can yeah run the run world. the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> drive up a company's stock and then say, oh, I'm not buying you after all. Okay. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I, guess, I don't know. I mean, it wasn't it wasn't boring. It's a, It wasn't boring. It was a popcorn movie. I mean, you yeah. can sit there and just, you know, watch it and be distracted for a couple hours. And Yeah, and this and whole, was, I don't know if you caught this. At one point, there were a lot of articles that came out a couple months ago about how everyone's writing about the age difference between Laura Dern and Sam Neill's character in the first Jurassic Park. Now, I never thought anything of it. She was definitely over 18, so I don't know what everyone was. Yeah. Maybe it was 12 year, but now now you look at them and Jesus Christ, Sam Neill looks better than, he aged better than Laura Dern did, so I don't know what, what everyone's talking about. about oh, that. that's just woke shit. That's I just mean, like, oh, yeah, yeah. Come on, you can't, you're both you can't adults. Do. Of course, but now it's it's that, that that classic where people are looking backwards and ripping it apart because oh that's not acceptable, 
you know. And, and those two weren't demonstrative at all. So, I mean, you would barely know they no. were a couple unless they announced it. You know, yeah, exactly. Not, there's nothing like the, you know, my, my favorite movie, Indiana Jones, where there's a kind of a sketchy line where she goes, I was a child. And you, know, you know what you're doing. I'm like, no, that's sketchy. Okay, I'll give you that. But <laughs> but no. Yeah, but I mean, you know, back then you could say you were a child and you were 21, you know, like you. Yeah. A child, child meaning you didn't have a lot of life experience. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it could have been he was older and she was younger and she looked up to him and you know, uh, you know what? I think I think the the whole looking back and trying to tear apart what doesn't fit in today's model is ludicrous. Yeah, like digging through someone's tweets from ten years ago, that type you know, of thing. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. You know, it was like. Oh, like the Nazis were just so wrong when they did their things. I mean, how could they have done that? That's just really bad. You know, like, idiot, this is humanity. You know, you got you to gotta look at things for what was going on at the time. Okay. Blazing saddles can't be made this nowadays. Why? Mm. Because people mm. can't, can't see the context. They only see the black and white. No pun intended. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, they're, yeah. they're, they, they know, the people don't take things into context. They just, oh, well, that's wrong. You know? Like, I'll give you a perfect example. I just received, I, I bought online, an Elsinore beer t-shirt. Now, for those of you who don't know, Elsinore beer comes from the movie Strange Brew, Bob and Doug McKenzie. Classic Canadian skit right and their movie strange boo just a so bad it's good kind of uh kind of canadian movie made in 1984 there's a scene where uh the bad guys use an additive in the beer to control mental patients in a nearby institution but the mental patients are kind of depicted as kind of like goofy kind of you know that kind of thing Today, people would have a shit fit over how they're portrayed. But back then, it was just like, okay, well, that's the norm. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, you know, let's just start looking forward, people. Stop looking back and trying to tear it all apart. All right. Let's look forward with The Gray Man. I don't know about you. I love this 200 million budget action movie. You know what? Nothing to so figure out I. here. It's just a good old damn time. I mean, Chris Evans pulling in. What a performance. He, he was he was evil Captain America. He was. I mean, it was so he good was to like, see he him was, like that. He had that, that really kind of jovial, very easygoing kind of thing, but he was sadistic as fuck. Yes, he had so many, I mean, I was jotting down just, you know, and, and these people weren't, weren't, there was nothing original in this movie. I was jotting down for fun the movies they were channeling from. So Eraser, Uncharted, Man yeah. on Fire, Silence of the Lambs, The Shining, and it ended with a lethal weapon, would you like a shot at the title, Yank, which I loved, you know? Yeah. I mean, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. this movie had everything. My, my, my favorite observation yeah. The trash stash. The trash stash. Well, yes, yes. But <laughs> another one is now. I don't know if these guys are Nostradamus. Uh, Chris Evans makes a Kendall joke to Ryan Gosling. That Barbie <laughs> movie is currently filming. They filmed this movie last year. So did they know, or they just made a one in a million joke? Okay. Oh, I think uh, they Ryan got. Okay, maybe he told them he signed on. But yeah, that was. Maybe too meta or too inside because they had to have known, right? I mean, come yeah. on, Kendall. I mean, <laughs> yeah, no, no, that was it. Was it was all good? Everything was good, you know. From from those two going at it to um, what's her name that was helping uh, Ryan Gosling. Oh yeah. Um, oh God, who was reprising her role from the last James Bond movie? Anna, yeah, Anna de Armas. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it. yeah, uh, Anna Darmus, who played, yeah, Danny Miranda. Yeah, and, uh, and your favorite Colleen Wing. Uh, yes, Jessica Henwick. Yeah, Suzanne go, Brewer. Going, go, go uh, telling, telling Chris Evans what to do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Where to go. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Billy Bob Thornton also, uh, uh, excellent yeah. performance. And the uh, little girl. Well, she, you know, not. I don't know, you didn't, you didn't watch um, um, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, right? Like she, no, she, she no. stole every scene she was in. She stole the movie from uh, Leonardo DiCaprio because her okay. scenes were with him. Yeah, that's when I first 
found out about this. Pay attention to this girl. She's going places. You think she was good here. She was even better in Once oh, Upon yeah. a Time in Hollywood. And uh, just just to Chris Evans' line, like when <laughs> when he finally Chris Evans finally catches up with C- Sierra Six there, and you know, and then he wants to drive, and he goes, <laughs> Ryan Gosling goes like this one, and then he drops a grade. He goes ballsy, and then <laughs> cut forward to when Billy Bob Thornton does the same thing. He's like douche uh, right before he takes <laughs> one of his own men to block to, the to blast. Block I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh man, yeah, I, I, I love them. He didn't wear socks. He just wore these stupid loafers. This oh, Hansen I know character. the tight pants. The yeah. super tight pants of the yeah, ugly yeah. shirts. Yeah, yeah. Who was the only guy that went went to Harvard to play football? Of course, he's a douche. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and he and he dresses like he comes right out of the seventies. Yes. Oh, including yeah. Including no. the the, the uh, trash dash. Yeah, uh, a psychopathic former CIA agent. Con, you know, I mean, it, uh, it's too bad he, he died. I mean, I, I could see more movies like this. I mean, because, uh, you know, as, as unrealistic as the action was, which was all cool. I mean, that tram scene in Prague. Oh, yeah, I know. Right at the end where he's using the windows as he's zipping by to see where the, the guy is and he shoots down. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you know, yeah, I mean yeah, yeah. it's just at the ending where he breaks out, you know, he breaks out uh, Claire Fitzroy. I mean... I mean, I, I don't know, because the, to me, that means they're going to have to be on the run the rest of their lives, and she's going to about to be a teenage girl. So, I mean, I hope there's going to be a follow-up movie to this, too, because, I mean, I yeah, want more, who, I want more can, of this. Who, who do you pull as a bad guy <laughs> to follow Chris Evans in that? I mean, come on. Like, I, I, I'd be watching just to, just to fast-forward to Chris Evans' scenes. Yeah, you know, well, like, well, that well, it's too bad. Danush, who played Lone Wolf, who was excellent. Yeah, he he had a turn of heart. But yeah, if 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 he didn't have a turn of heart, then I would have suggested the Lone Wolf guy yeah. because he, he was that was a pretty good scene with him and. The, oh, it was a good scene, good fight, but were, the, but yeah. it's it's more than that. It's it's the it's the personality, you know. It's yeah. the, that 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 complete psychopath, but having a really good time, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like yeah. I'll do things that you guys don't do. Yeah, and they, you know. they they actually filmed in all those places. That's hence probably the budget, you know. That, yeah, Prague that that would be the Croatia, budget. and you know, I mean, <laughs> I can see Chris Evans and Ryan Gosling kind of taking an easy easy go at the pay to make something like this. Yeah, you know, especially like Chris Evans, he's been a Boy Scout for I don't know how many movies. I mean, other than Knives Out, he's been the good guy in most of, most shit, right? Yeah. Or, well, I, well, well, I like I like this character better than the one he had in Knives Out. I mean, yeah, yeah, exactly. Knives Out, it was sort of like a subdued kind of psychopath. This is just straightforward freight train. I'm in your face, and well, I'm gonna kill you, but I'm gonna have fun doing it. You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no, it was an awesome movie. It was it was definitely something yeah. that you could really, really. Yeah, I mean, there's there so many good lines. Like, you know, you, you want to make an omelet, you got to kill some people. Or, you know, or when <laughs> yeah. Gosling goes, when you say things like chop your head off, it makes you sound untrustworthy. You know, I mean, shit like that was so yeah. funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Everything everything about it was just a great show. You know, and I wasn't a fan of Russo, the Russo's earlier offerings, like, if, you know, Extraction and whatnot. This had all the night, right elements for me. I know oh, you I, loved I, Extraction. Yeah, yeah, no, I did. No, but I again, I like Extraction. I would definitely watch this movie over and over for sure. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this is come on. I mean, I know it had a very limited release, but we're watching a two hundred million dollar movie on Netflix. This is crazy. You know, I almost felt bad not watching it on the big screen, but it you know didn't <laughs> didn't it didn't come out here theatrically. But still, I mean, so it's pretty crazy to think <laughs> we're getting this on Netflix. I mean, yeah. Jesus. Yeah, well, I mean, Netflix is really pulling up some some good shit lately. Well, yeah, but maybe this movie's budget has something to do with their current financial woes. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if we'll see uh, many yeah. more of these, but I hope so. <laughs> I mean, they are making Extraction too. Or yeah, I, I, I don't think Netflix is really hurting. They they lost mm-hmm. subscribers, but I mean, I think they've still got a ton in the bank. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't know if thumb, thumbs way up for me on this one. Yeah, big up. time. All right, so you had a an about face or a change of heart about the offer. So the offer was essentially made to be uh, to celebrate the fiftieth year of the Godfather. They made this little series yeah. about the making of which uh, 
which I like because, you know, Miles Teller and whatnot. And I'm always curious about you know, behind the scenes how they made a movie. And did you know that Al Ruddy <laughs> was born in Montreal? <laughs> really? He was born in Montreal. Yep. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's, I looked him up right away. And, you know, yeah. then, but then he was raised in New York City and then in Miami Beach. And, you know, somehow he gets to L.A. But, yeah. uh, but I, uh, overall, no, I liked, I, I liked, uh, I mean, sure, they took some creative license with the story, like um, the um, uh, Juno Temple. Uh, who plays um, uh, Betty Betty McCart? Um, the only yeah. thing she actually did in real life was get the horse's head. That 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 was true, but obviously they had to, you know, we're in twenty twenty two. Yeah, the, we want to show that you know more women and all and all that and all you know. But but in reality, yes, she only uh, did did that. Uh, and actually, what speaking of just in the news, the uh, that the uh, mansion where they filmed the wedding scene is currently on Airbnb. Get this for only fifty dollars a night. <laughs> I mean, the interior, yes, looks nothing like uh, the movie. They uh, they shot that on a different soundstage, but the yeah. outside is still untouched. You know, I mean, except yeah. for the no, pool, you know what? I, I just kind of like on a whim. I was like, yeah. all right, you know, nothing else was on, and I was just mm-hmm. kind of like, okay, I'll just pop it in and see what it like. And yeah, it, it, it drew me in, you know. Uh, I mean, you know, I want to make movies, so yeah. for me, I kind of like okay. It started to pick my brain a little bit, and I was like getting into it and just seeing how Ruddy just kind of like bulldozes his way in. Well, the shit that guy had to put up with. I mean, not, not, you know, the, the mafia in any or mob in any movie would be like, oh no, but everything else from from Robert Evans not wanting uh, Al Pacino, it's crazy to think of now, right? I mean, oh yeah, no, I kidding, mean, no and, and Matthew Good was was excellent. It was, oh, he was, was Robert Evans. My, my favorite line is when he goes to visit Ali McGraw, and of course she's banging Steve McQueen. He's like, Jesus Christ, you're fucking the blob, you know? I mean, he completely <laughs> reduced Steve McQueen to his first movie he ever made. Yeah, I which know. Was the blo- I mean, it was so good, that line. I mean, Oh, uh, it was. I, I mean, Jesus Christ. I think I, everybody was fantastic. Yeah, Dan, Flo- Dan Fogler is Francis Ford Yes, Coppola. oh my God, was he ever fantastic. Yeah. Charles I mean, Bloodhorn. Yeah. I mean, I haven't seen much of what Dan Fogler's done. All I remember mm-hmm. is Fanboys. Yeah. And he was like, <laughs> Hutch. <laughs> yeah. The Hutch Dutch. Yeah. You know, Rush all the time. But, yeah. you know, this was just fucking beautiful. You know, and the guy that played Mario Puzo... Same sort of thing. Everybody, everybody's chemistry was just fantastic. You know, yeah. even even the the actors that portrayed the actors. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, no, it was. Uh, I thought it was very well done. I mean, uh, of course, Miles Ma- Teller, great as always. You know, yeah. I mean, uh, Lou, Lou Ferrigno gets in there. The Hulk gets I in know. there. It's Lenny, Ma- Lenny Montana, which is which has actually happened. They did take a guy like that who had no acting and just because of his size and whatnot that yeah i mean that that happened okay yeah and uh, the guy that played brando yeah that, that was a yeah it was a interesting choice because i think he was on um gray's anatomy if i'm not mistaken for years yeah. this guy yeah my my favorite scene i have to say my favorite scene is when they take all the actors out for dinner and then yes, the actors that happened, portray right? the scene yeah that that happened. the dinner scene yeah like uh, did 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 uh, Coppola and and Ruddy know they were going to do that, or they nope. just went and did it? Nope, nope. They just fell into their characters immediately. Oh like, my nope. god, it was so so. And even well when they done. went to Brando's house, he he did do that for them. Like he put on the makeup. He went through the whole that that actually happened. You know. Uh, <laughs> no, no, it was fantastic. It was fantastic, and I, I love I love how they did a little. We're gonna take care of this inside the family, and Jimmy Kahn beats the shit out of the guy that slapped Talia Shire. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Respect I was being Jimmy method. Kahn. Ow. <laughs> 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 no, like you said, like all the shit that they had to go through with the mafia, um, how Ruddy almost, you know, pledges allegiance to the Don kind of thing when he kisses uh, Carbono's hand. You know. Yeah, Colombo. Yeah, yeah. Colombo. Yeah. Columbo, yeah. Yeah, so it's like, and like Giovanni Rabisini playing this character, I mean, that's a, that's way out in left field for me. Like you, 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 you expect him to play the idiot. You never expect him to play like. Yeah, there's probably a ton of other guys they could have gotten for that, but yeah, uh, he. Uh, I think he but he he off. played that really really well. I mean. Yeah. 
And what even surprising at the end, what Al Ruddy did, he basically wanted to go out of his own. He wanted to go make the longest yard. He would have gotten an, an, another Oscar because Godfather 2 swept at the Oscars yeah. the following year. He would have got it again. But it, it kind of, and it kind of hurt me that only, uh, it only got nominated, like the longest yard only got nominated for a Golden Globe. I mean, sure, it wasn't the Godfather 2, but that's one of the best football movies or movies yeah. of all time. I mean, I, I would have thought it got more recognition than that. I mean, um, but. Oh, I mean, it, it certainly helped Burt Reynolds' career. Yeah. Then know. again, he did get one later, another Oscar later on, because he worked with Clint Eastwood on Million Dollar Baby. So, yeah. you know, I mean. That, his... But that's a, that's a long way between Oscars, though. So. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, the guy's, the guy's uh, Jesus, uh, he's he's 92, you know. I mean, <laughs> he's still, he's still yeah. kicking, still making movies. I mean, he, he, he's put out quite a few movies, but it's it's still, you know, all good movies, okay. Like I, I think he he also did Cannonball Run, in, Run One and Two, right? Yeah, they're they're making so he, they're, he they're, had re- some... they're remaking that too with him as Are executive they? producer. Yes, like he did oh Cry God. Cry Macho with Clint Eastwood last year, and now I see you know he's involved with Cannonball Run as executive producer. <laughs> Uh, I, I don't know how they're going to do Cannonball Run. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine those. And be, yeah, and, basi- and be politically they, basi- correct. Basically, they have. It's called The Fast and the Fast Furious. The Furious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no kidding. No kidding. Because all the cool cars are always in the Fast and Furious movie, so I don't know what, what you're going to bring to. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> in terms of autos to uh, Cannonball Run, but whatever. Well, right? also, like, it. the comedy, right? Like, mm-hmm. you, there, there's... There's a certain brand of comedy in these movies uh, that you, you know, again, going back to the, you can't do that today, you know, like drugging yeah. Farrah Fawcett to bring her across country. Yeah. <laughs> that would be a little, that's kidnapping. Well, no shit, Sherlock, but yeah, hey, cross, she's on board. Cross state lines, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Uh, oh, boy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good show if anyone's out there or on the fence. Definitely. Yeah, definitely worth a watch. Definitely yeah. worth a watch. Very good. Especially like Hollywood in those times. Oh yeah, I mean, you know was... the the parties, the the uh, the extravagance. The, the, the blow. <laughs> well, there was a little, lot of blow. Little sniffy jiffy. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> but you know, it's it's the rolling up in the in the in the convertible sports car. Hey, Bubby, how are you? Yeah, and you going know? into the restaurant where you you have your own table and people exactly. applaud, applaud you because you won the you know, and then and then I, I love all Robert Evans things. You know, he wants to give up that just because he wants his name on the poster. He wants to you know, he yeah. wants he wants to win the Oscar. And then yeah, sure yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, no, no, it was, uh, the portrayals were just fantastic. And even like, I mean, how much of a shit was Colin, was, was Colin Hanks? Yeah, he played that pretty well. Uh, I, uh, yeah. I would say as Barry, Barry Lapidus. Yeah. Well, I love, I love, I, I love, yeah, Bloodhorn. Charles Bloodhorn was, looked, Bloodhorn. Ter- oh, looked just God. like that, acted like that. Cause I've, I've read, you know, I've read a few books where he, he's, he's come up and, uh, yeah, Bern Gorman, excellent English actor, you know, from Pacific Rim and all that. Just, yeah. uh, just chewed the scenery with that one. <laughs> oh my God. Yes. No, they, they were all fantastic. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, like every, they, every, it seemed like everybody was trying to steal the scene from everybody else. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It was, you uh, know, hard. yeah. I don't think like, anyone really stood out as everyone no, else was. No, no, that's just it. It was very even across the board. You know, even Fogler with Coppola. This is the essence of the movie. I need this scene. We need to go to Sicily. <laughs> yeah, now now that explains how. Because I always what wondered how how come that car was so violently blown up, but now we now we know why it looked. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Because it was like an explosion looked like designed to take out 10 cars, but. Uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. And we need the scene where they're talking about the sauce, the spaghetti sauce. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. <coughs> $75,000 kitchen? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, boy. No, no, no. Definitely, gang, go see this. Go yeah. see this. No word yet if they're going to make a second season about the second movie, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, you All right. You, you want to talk some San Diego Comic Con? I do uh, because I re- that, re- this slate looks kind uh, of like. Wow. I wrote down all my all my dates. I wrote down all the movies. So but basically, Kevin Feige said that uh, we got the f- first of all, we got a release date for Black Panther: Wakanda Forever. That's coming out yep. November 11th, and, and we got a trailer. Yeah, he said that'll be the end of Phase Four. So spoiler alert: Yes, Namor, who's long been rumored to be in the movie. 
movie. He's in the movie. It looks like they're they're going to war with Wakanda's going to war with. Um, yep. Uh, his people. <laughs> and and we get a little little introduction of uh, Reese Williams in yes. Wakanda Forever. Yes. Before and, she gets her own show. Yeah, and we do see that they were the Midnight Angels will be in here. Um, now, what I'm told is because I stopped reading the comic, the Midnight Angels are the best, best of the best Dora Milaje there are. Mm-hmm. They're the ones in blue. Uh, so, and of course, right at the end, we get a Black Panther. Uh, the silhouette looked kind of female. I don't know about you, because yeah, they've said they've I, I said try, that they won't. I was trying won't, to discern it. I was yeah, trying to discern it. They said they won't replace, you know, Chadwick Boseman, but it, lo- it did look like someone very slight so i i thought uh, i don't know if it's his sister or what but uh, we'll uh, I, if, if if any bets i would go with her his sister yeah yeah so um oh and, and you that. know what that would be an interesting story type to do because in the first movie she was kind of very very she's arrogant and kind of but very freeing you know free and whimsy kind of character but if she becomes black panther She's got to deal with a lot more serious shit and beyond her lab, right? So it's like, that's going to be an interesting story arc for her to try and deal with all the seriousness of being the Black Panther out in the world versus just being flip in her lab going, oh, you don't understand these things. That's cute. You know, like, let me do this for you. Why didn't you do that? You know, challenging the more intellectual people it's like why didn't you just do this you know like i know that you didn't you know what i mean yeah so that should be very very interesting yeah and then following that there were no trailers yet but uh we got the release date of ant-man and the wasp quantum mania february 17 Mm -hmm. and we got a little teaser for john wick chapter four which comes out on march 24th so i'm sure you saw it um yeah, uh, yeah, the, yeah. Basically, the line is, John, you can't kill everyone, and then cut to uh, Barney Stinson, challenge accepted. So, <laughs> yeah, we basically know he's going to kill everyone. Okay. Pretty much. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. And then um, spring of 2023, Secret Invasion. That'll be the Disney show. Yeah. Uh, May 5th will be Guardians of the Galaxy, Volume 3. Uh, again, yep. we, didn't, we didn't get any trailers or anything. And then Echo, another Disney Plus that summer, along with Loki Season 2. Yes. Got the release date for Blade, November 3rd, yeah. 2023. Ironheart, Disney Plus, fall 2023. And yeah. uh, winter, so December. Reese, we'll, Reese we'll Williams get, getting her own show. Yep. Yeah. Then December, we'll get Agatha, Coven of Chaos. Yep. And uh, what uh, news that probably made you smile as much as me, Daredevil, Born, Born Again. Born Again. Yeah, yes. Goes. And I hear it's going to be 18 episodes. Uh, so spring. I, I did spr- see that. Yeah. I spring 2024. So Charlie Cox and Vince, Vincent D'Onofrio. That's why he's been sending us oh. all those pictures of him in the gym. <laughs> so now. Now, it's do you think they're going to bring back Foggy, too? Well, yeah. I every, hope so. Everyone wants everyone else back, you know, even. Um, even uh, what was the Asian girl's name? Oh Lord, I'm forgetting. Uh, ah! God, I'm trying to remember Daredevil. Uh, remember the one that was part of that uh, kind of ninja society there? Electra. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I was trying to think of the actress's name. But damn it, I can't remember. <laughs> Katrina. Katrina. Was it Katrina? What's her name? No, damn it! I'll have to look that up. Um, but I mean, you're in love with all of these women. You should, yeah, you I know. Remember you, everybody. You would, you would, yeah, and I just I just re- read about her name too. You'd think I would. Damn it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> No, but, I mean you you, you, br- you got to bring back Eldon as 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 Foggy. I mean, I wonder if they bring back Karen Page too cuz that would yeah. be interesting. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um oh, did you see the new She-Hulk trailer? Yes, I did. Did you catch uh, the man with no fear at the end? I mean, they didn't cut up to his face, but it looks no, like he's wearing no, the, it was the black like, suit. Oh, yeah, 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 I know. I was like ah! yeah. <laughs> Because yeah, I mean, oh yeah. No, I think I think She Hulk's going to be an awesome show. I think it's going to have just that right amount of action and giggles. Oh, sorry, El- El- Elodie Young. Yes, Elodie Young from yes, the, uh, yeah, who played Electra. That's the actress's name. I was trying to remember. Sorry, okay. <laughs> sorry, sorry, Elodie. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, we get a, we get more of a taste of uh, yeah, what's She Hulk's going to be about there uh, with her with her cousin. Um, yeah, well, I mean, there was a lot. The animation was a lot better in this. Yeah, 
Yeah, I mean, I'm 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 gonna give it a. Sh- I mean, I'm not gonna say anything now till I see it. But oh, no, no, no. I, but, I think th- I think this is going to be you know a, a well watched show. I think uh, they're gonna really. Uh, I think they're gonna do some fun stuff with it. And and you know what, She Hulk's comic was always about being fun. Yeah. Right. So, yeah. it's the superhero in the regular life, and like that that sort of balance. Everybody knows she's the superhero, right? So it's like. There's no hiding. There's no secret identity. It's just like, oh god, I got to deal with this now. Okay, and I really like this suit. <laughs> you know, like, yeah, yeah. No, so and then, uh, yeah, then we get more of Tim Roth's uh, character. So it looks like a she's, little abomination. She's, yeah. she's defending him, and then finally, hopefully, this will explain Shang Chi. Which, by the way, did you find it ear- uh, weird? They didn't mention anything about Shang Chi too. Like, uh, no, no, that, no. Uh, and and. And because you know, there's you know the Phase Five, there's going to be um, two new Avengers movies, right? Uh, yeah, we got two new Kang, Avengers movies: Kang, Kang, Kang Dynasty, yep, yeah. and yeah. Secret Wars. That's right. Yeah, so, th- those end Phase Five, I believe. Uh, yeah. Kevin Feige said. Well, they also dropped uh, before that the Thunderbolts. Yep, yeah. and the Fantastic Four. That's right. Yeah, now, I'm wondering who's going to make up the Thunderbolts. What what are they going to do to make up the Thunderbolts? Is that are they going to bring in Deadpool? Are they going to bring in... I mean, the original Thunderbolts were all villains. So it was Zemo, it was, uh, you know, a few others that just had similar powers to the Avengers, and they kind of, like, fudged it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, I mean, that would be a good way to bring Zemo back. But they shot him, right? They Didn't they... I thought, uh, I thought he was still alive, wasn't he? <laughs> I can't remember. I think so. I think he's still alive. So, well, yeah, he was with the the Dora Milaje, right? Yeah. When they, after yeah. Falcon and Winter Soldier. Yeah. And, of course, we're getting the um, Captain America New World Order on May 3rd, Yes. So that could be, uh, that's going to be Sam Wilson's quite, new movie. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All these are so far away. Blade? Blade's coming November 3rd, 2023. Yes. I mean, uh, 2023 is going to be a big year. Yeah, but if I was Simo Liu, I'd be wondering, where's my movie? Okay, <laughs> unless he's part of the uh, the Avengers. Uh, I'm, I'm guessing he's probably going to be brought in, in, in as part of the Avengers. But I mean, the Avengers that we got, we got another three years before that. Oh so. yeah, oh yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's 2025. Good lord, who knows what the world's going to be like then? But yeah. <laughs> But uh, yeah, no. Um, yeah. The world, the world would be like the the world in demolition, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he doesn't know about the three shells. No non-contact <laughs> greetings. <laughs> now this this all looks like you said. You know, the the, the next couple of years is gonna be monster. I mean, Marvel's been kind of a little a slow burn since uh, end since Endgame. So I think now. You know, out of COVID, everything is just going to start to ramp up and just go Well, yeah, crazy. they ramped up so much. They've even added uh, three R-rated movies to Disney+, Plus, two Deadpool movies and Logan. And, of course, Ryan Reynolds, I don't know if you saw his post about Deadpool being added as an R-rated movie to Disney, but it was all Ryan Reynolds, of course, as you know. Oh, oh Ryan Reynolds, <laughs> Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> yeah. He, so. He's going to keep doing that. But you know what? I think even though it kind of like, you know, R-rated on Disney – Everybody wants Ryan Reynolds to be Ryan Reynolds when he does this shit. Yeah, because exactly. And you know he's going to. And you don't even have to ask him. You don't have to pay him. He's still going to do it. You know? Yeah. <laughs> and it, it's and everything's going to be gold. And it's just like it's publicity. Everybody's laughing at it. Go. Yeah. Go. He's, he's just put out his own uh, Ted Lasso movie trailer. If you saw it, uh, the Rexham. The Rexham. Uh, yeah. 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 So, uh, God, I hope he's in this next season of Ted Lasso. Please say you oh, found a cameo yeah. while you were over there and you're keeping it secret. That's fine. But <laughs> just, just, a, just a, like, a, a, you know, we're playing Wrexham and it's just like, a, oh, it's a pleasure to meet you. <laughs> you know, yeah, like Ted, even if it's Ted. a phone call or whatever, a video message to Ted, like, you know, about beating you. At the, I the know. Pit. It's got anything, it's, anything, <laughs> anything, anything. anything. Just a, a walk through the, the locker room and, you know, yeah. have Roy Ken going, the fuck is this? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, pleasure to meet you, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Roy Ken saying something bad about his, his movies would be good, too. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, that would be awesome. <laughs> it's a, a Roy Kent 
Ryan Reynolds standoff. Yeah. He, was oh, the, was... he was in the proposal. Yeah, I, I ate that fucking movie. <laughs> <laughs> Oi! <Yeah. laughs> Deadpool, get over here. Yeah. <laughs> the fuck well, you doing in our locker room? <laughs> better if you called him Spider Man, but whatever. <laughs> okay. oh, yeah, we'll yeah, we'll yeah. keep that, but uh, Celine Dion got that gag, so we'll let her have that yeah, one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Uh, hey, yeah. Spider Man, this thing only goes to 11. <laughs> 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 wow. <laughs> yeah, no, no, for sure, for sure. No, no, I'm, I'm looking forward to all of this. It's uh, It's been a bit of a dry spell. So. Well, yeah, they even I think even before the pandemic, I don't think Marvel was at San Diego, so it was. No, it was no, no. Nice they, to... they, every, they, they saved everything for D23. Yeah, 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 exactly. And the. They came back with a bang, I'll say. Uh, well, it's always good to see Marvel in Hall H. Yeah. Has, has DC uh, had theirs yet? Jeez. Oh, that... Well, I mean, they, they should have been at... Uh, I mean, I know Dwayne was there promoting Black Adam, but I haven't I haven't seen... Other than the Shazam trailer, I haven't seen much out of DC. I mean, uh, mm. the only thing... I mean, Mar- Marvel was everywhere, and sh- I watched the trailer for Shazam too, uh, Fury yeah. of the Gods. And that's yeah, I saw it. that too. That looked good. Yeah, that's. But otherwise, yeah, Marvel owned uh, Comic Con this year. Uh, well, yeah. as they do every year, but. Um, well, of course, but it was it was it was definitely a a a, a good. Ooh, of relief of, yes, we're getting all the good stuff. Yep. So and yeah, no, definitely. That's definitely. all I got for news, sir. All righty then. Well, gang, you can find us on social media. You can search Butcher Bay Rejects on YouTube. You can find us on Twitter, at Bay Rejects. You can find us on Facebook, at Butcher Bay Rejects, and on TikTok, at Butcher Bay Rejects. You can also find us on all the podcast platforms, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio, Spotify, Alexa Tune In, Amazon Music, and Pandora. This has been Butcher Bay Rejects. I am Mark. I'm Greg. See you next week, nerds. Have a good one. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye.